second bat for the 48 overs, they'll win. No ball. It's a no ball. He won't have got it all the way in the air. Pretty running back can't stop him from going for four. Well, he had to pick that one up early. Oh, he intended to play that shot regardless. But whatever he had, his intentions were, he got away with it was short. He picked it up. Whether he heard the no ball early or not, he got it high up on the bat, but got four runs there. But these two players doesn't really have to, to chance their hands so much. They're good timers of the ball. There's always the opportunity there to beat the infielders. This time is a big gap on the right side. Very hard for the ball as they've only got three fielders on one side of the wicket and one of them to get in position. I really think that captains often try and have a little bit each way when they have a leg slip because they're really trying to use it as a, a run-saving position rather than a catching position. But what it means is you finish up with big gaps like this. Certainly, if you really have a leg slip, it means that the ball at some stage is going to stray down the leg side. And I don't think that that's really a good position because it's going to be very difficult for the, for the batsman to really get the ball around there if you're concentrating on the offside. And now he's moving the man, wisely so. And that was a lovely shot. And as I said earlier on, these batsmen don't really have to force them. Uh, once they take full advantage of the loose deliveries. That's a better shot. All the company plays a more than wicked shot. His timing and his place in placement are all there. That is exactly what we're saying here. If you notice the timing of these players, that was a beautiful shot. All in the right slot. No risk there. Open in the face of the bat, giving the ball direction. And he's a player who times the ball so well. But if you really get to him, he's there for full 15 overs. I'm sure that India will be right into this game as they are. They're really playing extremely well. On the other hand, the Pakistan bowlers have really got to tighten up. They can't get too complacent. Big total doesn't mean that the other team can't get it at their ball badly. He can turn the good ball into bad balls. And you've seen here, this young man really pink of form. Plenty of good cricketers there, that list. to face him now, Saclain. Generally does bowl in the first 15 overs, so he's used to this. Change of pace, change of direction, change of style. No change for the result, though. That's over the boundary. Up, up and over. Oh, well, what, what can you say about this man? It's a, very difficult to keep him quiet. He's sat there in the 
brought on. And the bus are spinners in the world today. And immediately, that touch end is down the wicket, picking him up and continuing from where he left off in the very first game. And lift him in it, lift him and ball over the on into the boundary. He joins the list. About half a dozen players who've done it uh, in matches between India and Pakistan. He's the second Indian player, Azradin, the other one, of course. Tendulkar deciding to be positive and aggressive to the bowling of Saklane. He's on both teams at this one. Down the wicket he goes again, it's high in the air, it's a steepling chance to mid-off, and he's gone, and that's the breakthrough that Pakistan needed, some cool bowling from Afridi, he's come in, a very pressure, pressurised situation, and really, I think, Sachin Tendulkar has stretched his luck a little bit too far, he took the risk, and unfortunately for him and, and for India, I think that's a huge blow to their chances. Certainly, Blair off his pass, Blair with his thing. I think that's a very good shot in this stage. He wasn't to the pitch of it, but again, he was looking to launch it over the extra cover and only got it high up on the back. And it's a lovely catch there. And, that, and that's the breakthrough that India needed. Blanker, that's his batting strike rate. He's always going to have a fairly high strike rate because he plays his shots from the word go. And either he'll get them quickly or he'll get out quickly. So either way, he's not going to affect his uh, his strike rate. He's not going to play a slow, grinding 30 at any stage. That's a good start for him. Yes, but you, you really need your, your top-line batsman to come in early, particularly when um, the score is in, in, in that position, because it gives them a chance to play themselves in. And particularly a player like Azarudin, who is in such good form, a very good stroke player. But he... That's up and over. It's a poor ball. Well, that's a good shot, a little bit risky, but a hold of it. Can't afford to get bugged down. It chasing runs here. See it open in the face of the bat and lifting it over the covers. A little bit short and in position. Got to take your chances. Chasing a big total, you can't afford to get bugged down too early, particularly with all the feelers in. If you're looking for two here again, Robin Singh is very quick. Can Ganguly get back? Inzamam, quick enough to stop them. But, uh, next four overs. Down the wicket he comes. Oh, what a glorious shot. Could be a six. No. First bounce over the boundary line. What a lovely shot. Beautiful use of the feet. And it was four all the way. Nearly looked to six. Yes, Ganguly's taken over where Tendulkar finished. And uh, he's drop kicked that one beautifully. He just looked short. One bouncing over. Eleven runs off the over, and it's 95 for one. What he ought to be thinking about is just getting a single. Ganguly, as much of the strike as he can. Oh! It's to him. But he didn't have the ball in his hands as he whipped the bales off. Well, I think this is a interesting miss here. We'll find it's just crept underneath the bat and Rashid Latif, very hard hands. No give there to Robin Singh, well out of his ground. So let off for Singh. Bad luck for Sacklane.
Yes, this is a beautiful shot. Down the wicket. He's uh, picked it up and absolutely smote it over mid on. That is a very big six. Out of 50, Ganguly is 14. He's in prime touches. 25 overs is something we've got to keep an eye on. After this over, the fielding restrictions fall away. Oh, come on! It's a fine shot by Singh. And it's going to be four runs. The Jars will not be able to cut it off. And the run's flowing and the boundary is flowing. Very good shot from Robin Singh. He's been playing the support role, but here you just see him opening the face a bit. Getting it wide of mid-off, and Ejaz put in a big effort, but really couldn't get there. And that could be another ball, misfeeling, and it's going to roll over the line, and it does. Four more. This is very, very poor fielding. Not a particularly good delivery. Very well played by Robin Singh, and he set off straight away, and Hussain, well, he made an awful mess of that. And it's cost him four runs. So another expensive over for Pakistan. Ball of his fourth over. A bit of difficulty with his hand, a drop catch at third man off Ganguly. He's been out for running repairs, and he's OK now. run rate almost nine and the required run rate pulled down from over six to almost five and a half Pick form oh, that's, a that's beautifully timed by Ganguly yes he just leaned on that one, really times the ball well. It was a bad delivery, a half volley. That's outside the off stump. Certainly got everything right then. Just leaned on it, the block drive, finding the gap. And the man at the deep long off position had no chance with it. Lovely flowing shot. That's what he is capable of. Batting very sensibly. Once they pick their singles up, the loose ones will come along, and when they do come along, they have to make good use of it, like how Jan Gulli made of that one. That's a wide. Ah. One thing the Indian batsmen have done by getting off to the start, they've put the pressure right back on the Pakistan bowlers. Probably get the 48 overs in. Just a single. As our Mahmood, the fielder in the deep. So six runs coming off that last over. After 20 overs, India. 159. In this kind of situation. It's 23 overs gone. India 170 for one. Go 78. He's done really well. It's a good hit. Straight down his throat. He's dropped out. He's gone for six. Well, we've seen some very ordinary fielding today. But that would get in the grand final. Yusuf on the boundary. Straightforward catch. He's given it the, the soccer goalkeeper straight over the boundary. Yes, there really has been some very, very poor fielding. Here we have another one. That's a straightforward chance, very lackadaisical, and he's just pushed it over the boundary for six. A bit of misunderstanding, but no drama. Well, figure the bats well, fields well. I think he thinks he's an opening bowler and I think he'd be better suited 
to see the equations. That's what happens now. The game is called after 30 overs. The target for India would be 242 and so on. 35 overs, 268, 40 overs, 289. So the longer the game goes, the better it becomes for India. All of a sudden the pressure is back on Pakistan to get some wickets. Six runs from the over, 191 for one. Run well, run hard. Yes, and that's been the, one of the problems since his 50. Robin Singh really has played well. Excellent support for Ganguly. Really keeping the pressure on the Pakistani fielders, and that's been one of the problems today, is the fielding hasn't been all that good. This match is still evenly balanced. Straight off the pad. 196 for one. Oh dear. Oh dear. Rashid Latif having a tough day at the office. Yes, he's got him to run past one here mm. down the leg side and again plenty of time and it's hit him above the gloves. So poor old Rashid Latif, he's having a tough time of it. Both sides have given plenty of opportunities to the opposition with drop catches and misfield, miss dumpings. It'll be hard to work out who gave most away. Oh, dropped another one. Sharp chance. Ijaz Ahmed, one of the better fielders in the Pakistan side, but he can't hang on to it. I think we've got to say that this ball, as it gets older, is hard to see for everybody. Yes, I couldn't agree with you more, and that's uh, a difficult one. Awkward height, but when you look at this level of competition, they really should be taken. That's the over. <laughs> 30 overs gone, India need to 110 from 108 balls. We've had a replacement ball come out. At the request of the fielding side, they were finding it difficult to pick up. The wicket now getting very tight here. That's an innovative shot. It could be four runs, but there is a fielder running around there. He'll cut it off, which is Mahmood. Two runs. Good uh, feeling there by this youngster. Very innovative. Just scooping it away. Body language says he doesn't. He's shaking his head there. Rashid Latif thought that Langoli had nicked it. That's a lovely shot. It's going to be four runs. Finally, a boundary coming, and what a lovely shot by Robin. Yes, one of the rare loose deliveries from Mohamed Hussain, trying to bowl a fuller length. But in fact, it was a little too full. Robin Singh quick to pounce on that full toss and hammer it into the gap on the onside. It's a welcome boundary for the Indians. Previous highest being Sri Lanka who chased at Zimbabwe's score of 312. And It's a game for the strong-hearted at the moment. Good decision there that would have missed leg stump. This is a pressure match. The umpires need to concentrate at well, as well at this stage. Slowing down the game a bit here, Mohamed Hussain is coming back to that statistic I mentioned earlier in the previous over. This will be the highest score made by a team if India go on to win this contest. Previous highest was 313 made by Sri Lanka against Zimbabwe. 
this stage but one must remember the light light factor is important here Oy, oh. uh, Rashid Latif he's had problems behind the stumps he's not been at his best here today a couple of stumping chances at Bonner begging even his collection hasn't been clean at all times the one must say on that occasion there was a deflection of the tie that's a six or Yes, it is. Beautiful shot. Over mid wicket. Well, that's a decisive blow by Robin Singh. And again, turns the balance in India's favour. That is a very, very important shot. Where this match is going on at the moment should ease the pressure on the Indian batsman. This is a big hit. Didn't step out, but timed it well. It's another big hit, and it's going to be four to the mid-wicket fence. And this over has swung it back India's way decisively. 239 for one. As well, for producing such a superb pitch for a final. First bounce to a freebie. Just a single. Anguli facing. So Freedy, there comes the return. It could be close. No, what's and the third umpire could be called into question here. That could be close. Well, my first reaction from here is that Ganguly might well have made his ground, but you never know. I think uh, his body language suggests that he's comfortably home. Rashid Latif had to bend forward and in front of the stumps to collect the ball. That gives uh, the batsman just that extra time to come back comfortably into his crease. Still two balls remaining. at this stage they just don't need to panic they've got nine wickets in hand 250 coming up 250 for one definitely achievable but this time Robin Singh is gone he's chanced his arm once too often against Mohamed Hussain and a good catch in the deep Keep Javed. He has an injured finger, but he made no mistake with that one. So suddenly, Pakistan come back into this game with this wicket of Robin Singh. That's the only way they could have come back, by picking up wickets and putting the brakes on the scoring. That's the hit. It's well hit, but straight to Akib in the deep. And Akib this time making no mistake. And finally, Pakistan do take a catch and a wicket. Saying fine innings of it. 250 for two, still a lot of batting to come. And this could be a run out if he picks up and throws. And has time to come back. I think he's made his ground here. But had Amir Sohail picked up the ball on the first shot, it might have been trouble. Azar thinks he's back. Thing India wanted this stage 
is a run out. Adam and Sohel picked the ball in the first attempt. Then there would have been big trouble. This gives time for Azaruddin to come closer to the crease and he makes his ground. problem at all oh, popular cricketer here yeah. the decision greeted with uh, great enthusiasm and applause that would have been a disaster for India had he gone everyone's got to keep his nerves now in the mind. Spinning and beating him. And that could be four. There is a fielder running around. He cuts it off just inside the fence. Azhar gets two. And Hussain has done a good job for Pakistan. Fish the dead. And uh, that is four runs. We've got a thick edge outside, and that's a boundary which India definitely needed badly. And uh, Sarov Ganguly throwing the bat on everything. And uh, Sarov Ganguly there throwing his bat and picking up four runs. Magnificent reply by the Indians, and what a terrific game we are having played a wonderful innings of 82 and uh, with the medium fast bowling, bowler bowling from one end I think the Indian batsman will try and take uh, as many risks as possible against the spin of Mohammed Hussain and that's the best option and we see here that uh, the referee Mike Dennis is having the manager of the Indian team along with the third umpire having a chat Obviously, they must have had something to discuss. Hey! One thing the referee and the umpires can't control is the light. Not that capable. Listen, I think the proceedings in the middle are handled by the two umpires, and they have been given this light meet here. But one feels that uh, this time, Akhir Javed failing to prevent the ball going over the boundary line and a welcome relief for the Indian supporters who were desperately waiting for this boundary to come and Sarov Ganguly this time beating a diving Akib Javed and four more runs coming to into perform at the moment 48 from 42 still a pretty even contest if in fact you can have an even contest in the dark. Yes, and Rashid Latif uh, making the change, bring on Saklain Mushtaq, realizing that the batsmen are going for the big hit to the spinners. I'm sure he's banking on Saklain to get the breakthrough. And he has been pretty good in the past. Not this time. The economy rate is very high. And without picking a wicket, he has given away 42 runs of just six. So it is a gamble with Rashid Latif is taking and one has to wait and see whether it's going to pay off or not. Well, a wicket or two would make a big difference here. I think if India are to win, it's going to have to be Ganguly and Azradin to get them there. Very hard for a new batsman to come in under these conditions. What will he do? Will he look to push it around? Or will he look for the big hit? It's one off the first ball. I don't think Azradin is going to go for the big hit. I think Azra is really going to have to play as well as he can, working the ball around into the gaps, getting the ones and twos, try and force the bowlers into making mistakes. Yes, I think that uh, one of these two has to stay till the end if <laughs> India is to win. But uh, I'm sure Raj, Raj Latif has different plans. And with light as is now, one can see the shadows of the fielders and the batsmen 
in which and it's a flat lit match the day match is being played under floodlights yes. full toss he's yeah. gone hit it straight to midwicket so the waste time full toss has done the trick for Siklain Ezredin trying to work the ball into the gap surprised by the <coughs> and a full toss could bring it straight to Amir Sohail and India losing its third wicket for 268. Balls into the gap, they're looking for two. Jadeja coming back. It's a good throw to the keeper's end, but not quite good enough. Inzamam al Haq, and there's trouble for Ganguly. He's gone. He's gone for the calf, whether it's a cramp or he's... Here's Hasridin at the square leg position at the striker's end. Ganguly must also maintain his ground as well. He can't even wander off out of the crease. Even if the runner's safe and he's out of his crease and the bales are taken off, then he can also be run out, so... Everyone needs to have their wits about them. Umpires, batsmen, fielders, and the television cameramen as well. Well, boys, the plan, ball in, ball in, ball in. 271 for three. Jadeja will be striking. Gives you an idea of how dull it is out there. Much easier when the batsman with the runner is not on strike because all he has to do is hide by the square leg umpire and leave it up to the other two but now the injured player comes back on strike Mohamed Azredin just checking with the umpires which side he would like him to stand extras apart from one runner ball to win this game can they do it tension is rising nobody's leaving the ground he's out not in down the wicket he goes I could jump it gets past the outside edge of the bat and it hits the top of middle stump. And that's a very important wicket for Pakistan. And that's one wicket they really wanted because uh, Sarah Kanguli was the man in form. And look at the jubilation on all the Pakistanis there. They are delighted with that wicket. And not only the players in the middle are delighted, so are the supporters. wicket and an important one 274 for four Sadhu the new batsman and that's a good start for him well it appeared to be a bit of a blow losing Ganguly but in hindsight it may be seen as the best thing that happened he was struggling with an injury a cramp or an injury there was a runner out there there was confusion all round Sadhu's come out there even in the gloom at least he's fit and healthy. He can do his own running. And that four is very important in working that equation down. I need a couple more. It's a good start for Sadhu. Eight runs coming from the over. 279 for four. Him in Tarka with 34 runs uh, being required and of 29 balls there is going to be tremendous excitement stadium and once again what a big wicket for Pakistan Saklain Mushtaq giving the responsibility by Rashid 
that floats out on his back leg. And uh, umpire Russell Tiffin giving him out. Khalid Carr is the new batsman. Left hand up. Young man in a pressure situation. Well, he could be a real hero for India here. A couple of good hits. The boundaries can change this whole game. Still in the balance, but Pakistan edging closer and closer with every wicket. And Kenneth Carr to face Saclain for his first delivery. Having trouble picking it up in the gloom. Very nearly a wide. Mounting. Again, the ball coming back the other way. The umpires asked the question, but he said not out. And Kalitka is really struggling against uh, the spin of Saklan Mushtaq. And I think, uh, obviously, in this gloom, Rashid Latif there. Breaking the stumps, but uh, the umpire quite rightly not over so far for the Pakistanis. But that all can change with a couple of boundaries. One can see the tension on the faces of everywhere, including the sponsors, including the supporters of either team. Down the wicket he goes. It's in the air. Will anyone be able to find it? One bounce, two bounces to the fieldsman. They come back for two. A good throw will be interesting, but it's all safe. Mushtaq, the fielder out there. Very hard to see the ball in the air. If you don't pick it up off the bat, you could be in all sorts of trouble. And Indians will certainly run for anything and everything. And getting back onto the ball must be the first objective of uh, Kanitka. And once he beats that, then I'm sure they'll run for anything. Jadeja is a very good run run between. And we'll try and do his best to give Jadeja as much strike as possible. Because one feels that uh, obviously Jadeja is the one who's most more accomplished and experienced. And he would be the one the Indians would be looking for to see them pass this Pakistani score. Still 22 balls remaining and 28 required. must have been very close to being called a wide it's a short and gets the bat on it they shouldn't get any more than one run in Zimam. cool head of experience under under pressure makes sure he feels the ball cleanly two per ball to bring that equation to running ball he's missed it four runs from the over a good one for pakistan 290 for five is ninth over in the air, over the infield, will it get to the boundary? It's an important shot for India, and it's four! And that is the boundary the Indians are looking for, and they got a first ball from Saklain, a bad delivery, well, it gave Dereja enough time, the bounce was there, and he got enough time to place it just over the heads of extra cover, and... Uh, it was the boundary that they were desperate for. They have got it, and that certainly has brought back India into the game. Good piece of high jumping there from Inzamam. Not quite quick enough to cut it off at the boundary. Looking for the single, they'll take it. So India still giving themselves a chance. The game is still wide open. Nobody's leaving the ground. 114 and lost before in a one-day international. Could this be a record? What a dramatic finish. Sweeps it away. Feels with a backward square leg. It's going to keep it down to a single. Akib. Down there in the gloom. Kenneth Carr. Getting the run. Get away from the strike again. Chadeja, you've got a feel, as the man that can hit a couple of boundaries. They need a couple more. Just suggesting that uh, 
Bolter should keep on his toes. A run off everything. A couple of boundaries if they can get them. 296 for five. 19 from 15. Since he came on to bowl, every over he has not only contained the batsman but also picked up important wickets. He got the wicket of Azharuddin and then he got the wicket of Siddhu and now it's Jadeja still. The ball turning this time, coming into the batsman, hitting the middle stumps and that's the delight of Sakhalin Mushtaq for getting that important wicket for Pakistan. India losing its fifth, sixth wicket for 2.96 game of cricket we have seen so far. Long gear. Won't get a run. Looking for a leg by. Peel for LBW. The ball going straight on. Must be very hard for these batsmen now. All they can do is hope to poke around and maybe get a thick edge. Tip him high on the back leg, going over the stumps about that delivery that he bowls that goes straight on or back to the offside. It's always got a lot of top spin on it and therefore gets a lot of bounce. The equation getting more difficult. They need a couple of inside edges or thick outside edges. Six runs from the over so far. Bringing the field up just a little bit. Bongier not a renowned big hitter. Gets it into the gap. They won't be able to get to. No! They'll be looking, but no, they don't go. So seven runs from the over. 297 for six. Chance. Smashes it through the covers. It's hit well. It'll be four. What a start for Mongia. Well, we thought the boundaries might be hard to come by, but he started off with a slashing cover drive. Maybe, just maybe, he guessed right. That's exactly what India needed. First ball of Akib Javed and those four runs bring the 300 up for India. And this man, Mongia, is the man who's providing what looks like a very difficult task for India. Just 14 now of 11, and that's much more. <laughs> Such a tendulka there. And absolutely right there, rolling for everything. And with the boundary on the first, off the first ball, that helps. Slashing boundary brought up the 300. Are we going to see a world record here in the dark at the National Stadium? Chopped it onto the pad. They'll run for anything. Rashid Latif tries to get there and dive onto the stumps. He manages it, but much too late. And his car is the man on strike. 13 from 10. Another boundary from somewhere will make this game even more exciting. Akib Jarvid. Slashes again. It'll go through the infield, but there's a man out there. Will they get back for two? In Zamam, too strong. One of the better throwing arms in world cricket. They were never going to get two on that. It wasn't worth the risk. Mongir has already shown that he can hit the ball to the boundary. He'll need to do it at least once more. Feeling that I think they'll be quite satisfied, satisfied even if they could manage to pick up two twos out of the last three balls. That will please bring the equation down to run or just about running over of the last over, and that is going to be very, very exciting. An interesting move here, he's bringing his fine leg up so he can put the deep mid off back. This could be just might be one of the most crucial changes in the field placing. An inside edge to fine leg will go for four. Srinath, the man in the hot seat. Well, he's not yet in the hot seat. The men in the hot seat are out there with the ball in the hand and the bat in the hand. Mongi is the man with the bat. Akib Jarvid. He's got it away on the leg side. They'll get at least two. Will it go for four? Inzaman running around the boundary. Picks it up. They won't come back for three. Again, the arm's too strong. And I think Mongi is the man that can do it for India of anyone. So the nails are going down to the quick. Nervous perspiration on the hands. Mongi is the cool man in the middle. 
Can he do it for India? 10 from 8. They need a world record to win it. It's never been done before. 315 to win has never been done in the history of one-day cricket. Long gear. Akib Jarbat, they'll run one. Good delivery from Akib Jarbat, right up in the block hole. But it's still a run. Keeps the equation ticking over for India. They still need a boundary. Yes, they didn't get the boundary, but certainly Mongia made sure that they don't uh, give it, get a dark ball. And uh, I think Mongia is the man who has brought back India into this game. And one gets the impression that the last over, there's still plenty of excitement left. And should India get those runs, they'll be the deserved winners. It's missed it. They're running anyway. Is he hit the stumps? Yes, he has. Should they get these runs, they will be the worthy winners. Nine runs still required, six balls to go, and I'm sure they'll run for anything. And uh, one of the things which Kanitka would like to do is to try and give Srinath the strike. The other option, of course, is a tie. Nine runs required. A couple of singles and a couple of boundaries will do it for India. Two or three good balls from Saclain that they can't score from should just about wrap it up. Here he goes. Back he goes into the outfield. Fields went in the gloom down there. Mahmood, good throw back. So just the one run. Eight required from five balls. Well, Trina bowled pretty well under the conditions this morning. Didn't have a great deal of luck. Ganguly was off the field, injured for a while when they were fielding, came back and made a brilliant 124. Got good support from Tendulkar and Robin Singh. Azradin, Anshaman Gaikwad, the nerves are tingling. Eight runs from five balls. Will it be a win for India? Will it be a win for Pakistan? Or could we have a tie? account will be taken of the number of wickets that fall if the match is tied. Srinath goes the big hit, he's got a thick outside edge, it won't go to the boundary, they should come back for two. The game is still alive. 309 for seven, four balls remaining, six runs required. One big hit will do it. A couple of good hits will also do it. Everybody is on the edge of their seat. The players are on their toes. Saclain bowling to Srinath. Six runs required, four balls left. Again he goes, it's in the air. Who will find it? The bowler wants it. The ball safe. It is in the ground. Two more runs. It was in no man's land. Saclain knew that he was in trouble. He knew the fielders were in the deep. Sahail was coming from mid-wicket. Freddy was coming from mid-on. The baller thought he'd better have a go, and it fell safe. This sort of luck you need, and it, luck going India's way, and they certainly deserve this luck. They have played magnificently, and this game really nobody would like to see either side losing, but one side has to lose. But the way Indians have played, they certainly deserve to win. Four runs required. They'll go for one. It throws at the bowler's end. It's taken, so it's three runs from two balls, and Kanit goes on strike. Trinath has done a great job. He's come in in the dark with all the pressure in the world on him. He's got bat on ball every time. He's got a couple of doubles and a single. 
three required from two balls. What happens if they get a wicket from this ball? Three runs required off the last ball to win. The pressure is mounting. The captain just talking to his bowler about the line of attack. What sort of field do you want? What are you going to try? We're going to try and get it up in the block hole. Arun and the Pakistan team and support staff watching with intent. Nobody deserves to lose the game. It's been a fantastic game of cricket. One team will probably be disappointed. 312 for seven, three from two balls. The claim to Kanit Kar. He's hit it. It's a big hit. It's a four. They've won it. It's a world record for India chasing in a one-day game. What a magnificent performance. Really, the Pakistanis will be disappointed. We have seen a great game of cricket. Look at the Indian team. They're all jumping for joy. Claim can feel disappointed, but really, at the end of the day, nobody should be disappointed. We've seen a wonderful game of cricket. India have won by three wickets. A world record chasing. They needed 315. They batted for the last 20 overs in the dark. The ball has had to be changed three times. The fielders couldn't see it. The batsmen couldn't see it. The umpires couldn't see it. The cameramen couldn't see it. And yet, India have done it. Ganguly, probably in the running, definitely in the running for man of the match, along with Saeed Anwar. They're both in the running for the most valuable player. It's all faded into insignificance. India has won a great game of cricket to win the third final in the Coca-Cola Independence Cup. Srinath didn't have much joy with the ball, but he's had some joy with the bat. Sidhu, all the Indian team will be overjoyed with this victory. Against the odds, they've done it. Chasing the highest score ever needed to win in the dark. It's a toss-up between Ganguly and Saeed Anwar. Tendulka did his bit with the bat as well. Ganguly is the most valuable player as a judge by the World Tell commentators in the final. Great joy for India. Pakistan was sent into bat this morning and thanks to Saeed Anwar and Ijaz Ahmed, they amassed 314 for five from their 48 overs, would have liked. Tindulga picked up a wicket, but under these conditions, it was a batsman's game. So. India, requiring a world record, went out there and got away to a flying start. Ganguly and Tendulkar got them off to an absolute sensational start. Tendulkar was out from the bowling of Afridi. Singh came in at number three. Surprise decision, but batted beautifully. Very intelligent cricket. Great support to Ganguly. Kept the ball moving, kept the scoreboard moving, kept the strike turning over. Ganguly got the big hits in. Azradin couldn't keep up his magnificent form. And it was left to the middle order to give support to Ganguly, who in the end ran out of puff, went down with cramp, and finally was bowled by Akif Javid. And then... A world-beating performance by the Indian team to lift the Coca-Cola Independence Cup. In the presentation party today, we have Sheikh Hasina, the Honorable Prime Minister of Bangladesh, Mr. Obadel Khader, the State Minister of for Youth and Sports, Mr. Sabir Hussain Chowdhury, the President BCB, Chairman Organizing Committee for this tournament and also the Deputy Minister of Shipping. We have Ms. Damindra Dias, Director Coca-Cola India, Mr. Vijay Malia, Chairman Kingfisher, and Mr. G.M. Nasher, former Vice Captain of the Bangladesh Cricket Team. He'll be the adjudicator for the man of the match. First of all, I'd like to ask Rashid Latif to come up and collect his check of $5,000 from Ms. Damindra Dias of Coca-Cola.
Well, Rashid is in tough luck today, but uh, full marks to the Indian team for the way they chased that target. Yeah, I speak my, uh, our language here. Uh, Pakistan team kafi achha keli. Under pressure ho ke, matlab hum one down the final mein. Uske baad hum ek pal second final jeete. Uske baad third final mein 315 runs kiye, jo kafi mushkil target tha. Shuru mein thodi ball humne sahi nahi kiye aur Sachin aur Ganguly kafi achha kele. Ek baat aisa nazar aa raha tha ki Indian team aaram se match jeet jayegi. Lekin hamare ladko ne kafi fighting ki aur match ko apne hak mein leke aa gaye the. Aakhri mein do team Indian player kafi achha kele ke jiski wajah se wo jeet gaye. लेकिन जब 300 314 रन बनाए आप आप ऐसा तो सोचा होगा कि आप जीतेंगे नहीं ऐसा तो नहीं सोचा था क्योंकि क्रिकेट है कुछ भी हो सकता है इंडियन बैटिंग लाइन काफी स्ट्रॉंग थी सात आठ नंबर तक अच्छे वनडे के प्लेयर हैं तो इजी नहीं लिया फिर बीच में हम लोग ने काफी फाइट की रेगुलर थर्टी ओवर के बाद लेकिन फॉर द फील्डिंग साइड लाइट का कितना फर्क पड़ा बाद में बीच में लाइट का काफी फर्क पड़ गया था बॉल पुराना जब हो गया था उसमें बॉल का काफी फर्क आ गया था लेकिन जब दूसरा बॉल चेंज किया था थोड़ा सही नजर आ रहा था बॉल बैड लक रशीद Better luck next time. Well, Rashid Latif there, the captain of the Pakistan team. Now the man of the match award, GM Nasher is the adjudicator for that. There's also an MVP award that's uh, given by the Worldtel commentators. And their choice is unanimous. Both the Worldtel commentary team for the MVP as well as the man of the match, Saurav Ganguly. Yeah. Saurav will collect $2,500 from Mr. Overdale Khader. Sort of terrific performance today under pressure. Would you rate this as one of your best innings? Yeah, definitely. It's, I think it's one of my best innings. We had to get a chase a big total 314. I think Robin also played well, but this young man Rishi, I think he's got a very good future. He's always you know, done under front situation, and I think he's got a good future for India. Now you were up against a stiff target of 314. Uh, did you always believe you could do it, especially after you got the start? Yeah. We thought so, you know, we got a very good start, we got 120 in about 13 overs. We, we needed that start to get to 314 and then we looked to maintain 6 and over. I think Robin played exceptionally well with me and I think that did the job. And towards the end, uh, did the light have any effect on your batting because it did get pretty dark? Yeah, it was dark actually. We hardly could see anything, especially of the seamers, mm, but we somehow pulled it. Well, well done, Saurav. Terrific performance. Saurav Ganguly there, the man of the match as well as the most valuable player in this game. So, Saurav, you have a check to collect from Mr. Mijay Mali as well for the Worldtel MVP. Well, now the Trebo Googly Award for the best fielder. The best catch in today's game goes to Navjot Sidhu. He's been busy in the field. And a very good effort by him. He collects $250. And Saurav, don't go away. And Saro Ganguly will have to come up again and collect his check of $500 for the catch of the series. Splendid running catch at covers. And he can collect that from uh, Mr. Vijay Mali as well. And now the big award coming up, the man of the series for this tournament. The, it has been adjudicated by the Bangladesh Sports Writers Association and their choice is Sachin Tendulkar for the man of the series. Sachin, if you can come up, please. And collect a check from Mr. Sabir Chaudhary, president of the BCB. So Sachin Tendulkar there, the man of the series in this Coca-Cola Independence Cup. Well, Sachin, terrific performance today. Good start again. Yeah, I thought uh, initially we didn't do a good job by giving them uh, 314 runs. But uh, we batted very sensibly and uh, Sauro batted very well. He scored a magnificent 100, which I thought was a... Uh, it came at the right time, which was nicely supported by Robin too. But you would be happy with your personal form in this tournament, back in the opener slot? Yeah, it wasn't bad though. I thought... Uh, I batted well, I batted very freely and uh, played my natural game that I've always done in my life. I believe so, I should be batting the same way. What was the pitch like? Uh, I think uh, the wicket was very nice and flat. The ball was nicely coming onto the bat. And, uh, well, it was uh, 
basically a bat batsman's paradise. Well, well done, Sachin. Sachin Tendulkar there, the man of the series for his uh, consistent performances right through the tournament. And now the real big one. The winner's trophy and a check for $12,000 to the Indian captain, Mohammad Azaruddin. And he'll collect that trophy from the Honorable Prime Minister of Bangladesh, Sheikh Hasina. So, terrific performance by the Indian team here today to lift this trophy against all odds. It required a world record to be broken in chasing the highest score. Well, the check for $12,000. Well, Azhar, many congratulations. Uh, you'd have been disappointed by the effort of the bowlers and the fielders early on, but a terrific batting effort. Well, I think uh, I think the openers gave a very good start in a set to start with Sachin, and you know, they really batted well. And um, I think I'll give the credit to the batsmen; you know, they really stuck to the job. I think Saurav, Robin, and in the end, Rishikesh. Everybody, I mean, uh, uh, substantiated to the total. You know, it was a big effort, and I'm very, very pleased with the way the boys have played. And there's a lot of support from the boys. I hope to carry on, on and on. And uh, when you won the toss today and put Pakistan in, what sort of total did you expect to restrict them to? Well, I think 270. I was looking at 270, but uh, I was a bit disappointed with the bowling side. But uh, since we have won the cup, you know, cup, everything would be forgotten. But uh, I would like to tell the bowlers and the fielders that they have to really work hard. And uh, if you have to play well, you have to really work hard in the bowling and batting and fielding as well, all three departments. Well, very good performance by the Indian team. What are the plus points uh, for India after this tournament? Well, I think we've got a lot of uh, youngsters in the side, you know, when two youngsters, Rahul and uh, uh, Rishikesh, they really uh, played well, you know, and I know it's the first game for Rahul and the third game for Rishikesh, and he really showed a very cool head. And plus, we've got Lakshman on our side. We couldn't give him a chance, but hopefully everybody will get a chance. And then uh, we look forward to the series against Australia now. Well, thanks a lot, Azhar. Many congratulations again. Mohammad Azharuddin there, the captain of the Indian team, which has picked up the Coca-Cola Independence.